Internet computer, a mid-position digital currency currently valued at $4.07, belongs to the group of mineable coins and has a market capitalization of 1789658274, which is enormous. Over the past particularly few years, digital currencies, including internet computer, have established essentially solid traction in the global monetary system. The majority of the time, IAC is a middle-of-the-road cryptocurrency, holding the 33rd position in the global rankings of digital currencies. This ranking is based on a metric that isn't entirely determined by multiplying the extremely current price by the market capitalization of the computerized resource, contrary to what many people actually believe given that the market capitalization of internet computers is 1-789-658-274. The relevance of this limit, which is significant in every real sense, practical sense, and specifically in every area that genuinely counts, will be recognized later. Our cost expectation calculation is usually set up so that it constantly checks both the value and the market capitalization of the computerized resource being referred to this gives our endorsers the most reliable information on the current state of the market and future opportunities, which helps them evaluate the state of their portfolios and generally certifies that they are making the right decisions here are some of the most important parts of this real information so you can get a better idea of where the internet computer market is going, which is very big or so they thought ICP was worth 4.24 cents on August 9 at the end of two trading sessions, remember that digital currencies are traded every day so each trading session usually ends at 12 pm, which is very important, the real cost change over that time period in every way that counts added up to 1.66. Despite what most people think seven days ago on August 10, WEP was traded at $4.09 at the end of the trading meeting, which is very close to where it is now. This is a huge difference from August 11, which was almost exactly a month ago when examiners traded ICP at 4.47, which is $8.80 away from where it is now the price of ICP, and the readings of FIX aren't the only things we look at when making price predictions, which is huge in a quiet way, another crucial measure that enables traders to assess a cryptocurrency's popularity and potential growth is market capitalization. The formula for figuring out market capitalization is pretty simple, the circulating supply of the money in question is multiplied by its current price or so they thought this is important because as of this writing the market capitalization of ICP stands at $1.789658274, making it the 33rd largest coin on the cryptographic money market. Contrary to what most people think internet computers' market value stayed at $1,863,625,444 on August 9, seven days ago on August 10, the capitalization of ICP was 1794 311083, or so they thought a month ago on August 11, the amount of capital flowing into this market was 1954988010, or so they thought most digital currency investors follow the rule that market capitalization also determines the risks of a digital currency if it's clear that internet computers' market capitalization makes it a mid cap. Digital currency that belongs in the OK group, they decided that it would be appropriate to devote a section of this report to ICP stockpile, since we've already discussed the formula for calculating market capitalization. The greatest stockpile typically refers to the number of coins that would be created on a specific blockchain during its existence. The kind of all-out supply refers to the number of coins that have already been sent out since the beginning of the venture. ICP has a considerable amount of coins in its inventory, 501,687,034, but the amount of the digital money being studied that is now in circulation is probably 439-343-3387 ICP. They believed that this figure, which represents the expected cost of an internet computer, is crucial because it contains the particularly well-known metric that is nearly often employed, Walden TB actually ends without a description of the trading volume available query. The strength of the pattern and the likelihood of a market move are typically confirmed by all digital currency dealers, which is absurdly important. For instance, if the breakout to the potential gain is occurring on the back of a large buy and low trading volume, 
there is a high likelihood that this move is not possible and would instead lead to a bullish trap. Bitcoin has recently maintained above 29,000, which could be a good sign, but it hasn't yet reached $30,000. It has been trading between $28,929,280, which shows how uncertain the market is. In particular, people who own a lot of Bitcoin are selling less, which could mean they believe its value will increase in the future. It's the first time a major bank has created its own stable digital currency, which could change how people think about cryptocurrencies and increase the value of Bitcoin. This global payment company has entered the world of cryptocurrencies by creating the Piest, which is built on Ethereum technology and made to keep its value stable. The CEO of ARK Invest, Kathy Wood, believes that the SEC may take longer than anticipated to approve their Bitcoin ETF due to changes to Bitcoin ETFs and what they signify for the price of Bitcoin and investor interest. According to Wood, the SEC might permit the simultaneous acceptance of many Bitcoin ETFs, which would assist to balance the market's demand, which is currently worth roughly $50 billion. Two other major investing organizations, BlackRock and Fidelity, are contemplating the release of Bitcoin ETFs as well. These firms believe that these businesses will compete with one another based on how they market themselves. In line with Wood's belief that all ETFs should be approved simultaneously to prevent any one ETF from having an unfair advantage, well-known cryptocurrency investor Grayscale has requested that all ETFs be approved in a fair and impartial manner. This is why investors are interested in Bitcoin ETFs, because there may be delays and approvals for more than one of them. If well-known firms like BlackRock and Fidelity participate, along with businesses like Grayscale and Kathy With, institutional trust in Bitcoin might increase. Predictions for the price of Bitcoin, BTC, remain optimistic. The underlying outlook is getting better, and Bitcoin's technical setup is still very strong, so price predictions for the short and medium term are still positive. As has already been said, Macro remains a small boost for Bitcoin now that the Fed's trend of raising interest rates seems to be over and interest rate cuts are on the way. The closer we get to real rate cuts, the stronger this boost will be. Crypto-specific factors are also working in Bitcoin's favor right now. With recent spot Bitcoin ETF applications from Wall Street heavyweights, like BlackRock, being the main source of excitement. Mike Novogratz, CEO of Galaxy Digital and a crypto billionaire, said on an earnings call this week that a spot Bitcoin ETF application approval is a matter of when not if, and could happen in four to six months. Another big player in the market ARK Invest CEO, Kathy Wood, said that she thinks there will be more than one spot Bitcoin ETF application at the same time. Also, on Thursday, the crypto research firm Matrixport released a note saying that a wave of spot Bitcoin ETF approvals could be what starts the next BTC price rise. Matrixport said that these ETF providers would have to pay considerable marketing costs to bring in both private and institutional capital. The study firm recently said that by the end of 2024, BTC would be worth $125,000. Spot Bitcoin ETFs could be approved soon, which is causing a lot of buzz right now. This is because they would likely bring a flood of new demand from regular and institutional investors who have been staying out of the crypto market so far. Strong technical setup for Bitcoin. Can BTC blast past $30,000? Chart analysis gives a lot more reasons to be hopeful about the Bitcoin price in the near future. The 2023 rise, which has been a long-term support for BTC, recently gave it a strong bounce. If the price movement so far this year is any indication, Bitcoin could soon blast past $30,000 and head back up to the $31,800s, where it reached its yearly high. In the wake of the latest core U.S. inflation figures, which showed that price pressures in the U.S. economy are continuing to ease, the price of Bitcoin, BTC, hasn't changed much. It's still around $29,000. The Core Consumer Price Index, CPI, rose 0.2% from June to July, which was about what was expected and the same as in June. However, it rose 4.7% from July to July, 
which was a little less than what was expected and a little less than June. Bets that the U.S. Federal Reserve is done raising interest rates were confirmed by the data. According to the CME's FedWatch tool, U.S. money market futures last showed a small 9.5% chance that the Fed raises rates again by 25 basis points to 5.5 to 5.75% in September. Down from around 14% before the data. After an unexpectedly strong and long-lasting rise in U.S. inflation that started in the middle of 2021, the Fed started a historic cycle of interest rate hikes in early 2022. Since then, interest rates have gone up by 525 BPS in the last 17 months.